kids, today we're going to be reading How to Wear a Sari by Roshana Kiani, illustrated by Joanne Liu Brithoff. Are you tired of being treated like a little kid? You're too small. That's too difficult. Aw, how cute. You want to show them you can do grown-up things too? All you need is a colorful, twinkly, silky sari. Don't be nervous. Sure, saris are long and unwieldy and worn by adults, but you can do it. Your family will definitely take notice. You'll be a pro. They'll stop to take photos, consult you for your tips, and maybe even give you a contract. First, you need to find the perfect sari. It can be tricky when there are so many choices. Too plain, too fancy, needs more sparkle, don't know where else to look. Gorgeous choice. You look so grown up wearing it. Your family will be amazed. Let's get started. Take one end of the sari and start tucking it in. Mm, something's missing. Put the sari blouse and petticoat on first. A little long. Make some adjustments. And they said you were too small. Silly adults, not talk and spin. Are you okay? Can you breathe? Unwrap and try again, this time a little looser. Next, the hardest part, the pleats. If you can master this, your mom will be so impressed. Hold the sari and fold it back and forth. Try not to drop any. It's okay to get help. Let's check out the pleats. Too small, try again. Too big, one more time. Suck your belly in and talk. Good job. Nothing is too difficult for you. You're a pro. Aunties will be asking you for tips. You're almost done. Toss the extra sari over your shoulder and pin it to your blouse. Don't worry. A dazzling brush can cover up any hole. Love the jewelry. Now find some sparkly sandals. No sari is complete without them. Magnificent. Go show them your glamorous grown-up look. Remember not to run. Oops. Well, you got your picture taken. A consultation and even a contract. Look on the bright side, you've achieved a family milestone. You now have a spot in the Hall of Fame album, along with the rest of them. 